we've got to start with Don Lemon. I'm sorry, but we do. <laughs> so he Please has do. been stepping in it time and time again uh, over at his new fledgling, failing CNN morning show. And the latest comment that he has made, I would submit to you, is it is just the latest in a series of truly sexist comments by this guy. I don't know how much longer CNN can allow this to go on, but here was him, here was, here was Don Lemon uh, reacting to Nikki Haley, suggesting that if you're over 75 and you wanna be in political office, you might need to do a competency test. And here was Don Lemon reacting to that on CNN. This whole talk about age makes me uncomfortable. I think that, I think it's the wrong road to go down. She says people, you know, politicians or something are not in their prime. Nikki Haley is in her prime, sorry. When a woman is considered to be in her prime in her 20s and 30s and maybe 40s. What are you that's talking, not wait. I, that's not according to me. Prime for what? I, it depends, I mean, it's just like prime. If you look it up, it'll, if, you look, if you Google when is a woman in her prime, it'll say 20s, 30s, and 40s. I don't necessarily- 40s, oh, I got it another I'm not decade. saying I agree with that. So I think she has to be careful about saying that, you know, politicians aren't in their prime. You need to need qualify. To are you talking about prime for like child yeah, but bearing you or are you don't talking shoot about the message. prime I'm just for being saying president. what the facts are. Google it. Everybody at home, when is a woman in her prime? It says 20s, 30s and 40s. And I'm just saying Nikki Haley should be careful about saying that politicians are not in their prime and they need to be in their prime when they serve because she wouldn't be in her prime, according to Google, you know, Google or whatever it is. OK. So if you don't shoot the messenger, if you Google it, Google tells you a woman is past her prime when she's after 20, 30, maybe 40, he says. If you Google CNN, it comes up as the most trusted news source. So we can't always rely on Google, Don. And I have to tell you, I'm so irritated by this guy. And honestly, his misogyny, and I don't use that word about a lot of people, but there's a pattern with him. The, the absurdity of suggesting that a woman is past her prime when she is 51 years old, like Nikki Haley. I just pulled just for fun, just for kicks, because you guys are both historians, some, some of the best known women on earth in modern uh, history. Margaret Thatcher, she was 54 when she became prime minister uh, of Great Britain. Nancy Pelosi became speaker of the house for the first time when she was 67, past her prime, sorry, Nance. Kamala Harris was 55 when she became the vice president of the United States. Katanji Brown Jackson is 52, newly placed on the US Supreme Court. While we're on the subject of the Supreme Court, Elena Kagan was 50 when she was confirmed. Sona Sotomayor, 55 when she was confirmed. Mary Barra, CEO of GM, was 53 when she took over that role. She's now 61, but past her prime. Suzanne Scott over at Fox News became CEO of Fox when she was 51. Uh, Suzanne, Susan uh, Wojcicki, CEO of YouTube, she's 54. I could keep going. And by the way, what an insult to people like Dana Bash, who's 51, and his colleague at CNN, sorry, past your due date. What does he mean by prime? The, the co-anchor had an instinct that this was offensive, but frankly, wasn't effective enough to actually shove it down his throat. Um, and recognize, are you referring to childbearing years? Because that is something women can mostly only do in their 20s, 30s, and 40s. And he wouldn't even sign on to that. But just childbearing is not what determines whether a woman is in her prime. What an ancient, anachronistic, stupid way of evaluating a woman's worth. The truth is, all those women I just mentioned, most of them did have kids when they were in their 20s and their 30s and their 40s. And then they went on to achieve huge professional success after they did all of the things that women are capable of doing, raising families, having babies, which only we can do, right? And instead of getting credit for that, for doing it all and achieving huge career heights in their 50s, they get reduced to you're a nothing. You're post, you're due date, you're stale, you're over because you're not at the age where you could service a man in having a baby. This is blatant sexism and shame on him for doing this on the air. And frankly, those other women on set with him were pathetic and weak in calling him out. He deserved a more robust response. He, was, he deserves it now from the colleagues at CNN. He deserves it from the colleagues in the news industry and the bosses at CNN. And it's not the first time. It was a couple of months ago that Essie Cup was on the set with Don Lemon and forgot her words not long after having a baby. And this is how he handled it. 13% of Republicans want a total ban on abortion. 70% of Republicans, um, uh, uh, sorry. You lose your train of thought, I do it all the time. I, 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 I did, but. <laughs> is it fair to say this, because I'm not a mommy, but is it mommy brain? Is it you? you have, no, you Don, I, I, you just, call it I just forgot I what I was going to say. I forget what I'm talking about all the time. <laughs> <laughs>
No, you ass. It has nothing to do with her mommy brain. People forget their words, male and female. This is a pattern with him. Remember when he asked whether a Bill Cosby female rape victim who said she'd been forced to perform oral sex? She should have just gotten out of it by biting down. What an idiot. He doesn't understand anything about women, about America, about prime. He's 56, by the way. I guess he'd, he'd be the first to tell you he's still in his prime, but the internet says that we women, we're well past our prime, so we about to be put out to pasture. I'm sorry, this is absurd. I've had it with this guy. Okay, I'm done with my rant. Well, he, he can't be trusted with a microphone. I mean, <laughs> he's live on television, and he can't, he doesn't seem to understand that Nikki Haley is running for president, not the 100-yard dash in the Olympics, right? I mean, <laughs> that's something where, you, you know, prime age might be between 18 and 40. Um, she's running for, to be an executive, and he must he he deals with executives and fe- female executives at CNN. I'm sure of it. Does he think they're they're past their prime? That they shouldn't be in those jobs? That that uh, they can't raise questions about eighty year olds in the job? I, it's it is so far beyond the pale. I think he knew he stuck his foot in it a little bit, but you're right. No one really pushed back. And yeah, his authority on it was Google. Just Google it. I know. I, mean, I know. Yeah, hang on, guys. I think we should give Don Lemon a little bit of credit. and We should recognize that if there's anybody on earth who knows what it means to not be in prime time anymore, it's Don Lemon. <laughs> Uh, Now that he's hosting the morning show, Uh, you you do kind of wonder how much. Look, there's new management at CNN. Uh, He used to be in prime time. Now he's in the morning show. He's not even kind of the lead anchor here. Uh, I did love the body language of the two women co-anchoring with them that that you kind of see them backing away almost (laughs) as if he had set off some sort of radioactive self-cancellation dirty bomb right there on set. And they didn't even want to be that close to it. It was, a, it was like one step short of Mike Myers when Kanye West said that uh, George Bush doesn't care about black people. That kind of sense of like, this is a moment that's going to get viral and I don't want to be in the shot. I don't want to be too close to him. Um, you kind of wonder though, like if you really if you really like working at CNN and if you like your coworkers and if you like women and if you like people above age 40, do you, do you say things like that? Or are you in some sort of effort to not be working at CNN as quickly as possible? Because I'm trying to that's, imagine that's what right. else you could say that would be more likely to make the executive sit up and say, oh, oh, we've got a maniac on our morning show. Uh, this this yes. statement would probably be what does it. It is part of a pattern and it ties in with the allegations that have been made against him recently that he was screaming at his co-host, Caitlin Collins, because she had the temerity to interrupt him. And he was annoyed it's hard to be demoted from the primetime solo anchor to the morning show co-anchor having to sell, share your set with these annoying women. Um, thank God they're in their prime. At least he wasn't subjected to that indignity. And uh, so he was screaming at her to the point where the cast or the, the crew was uncomfortable and Caitlin Collins reportedly ran out of the studio. Uh, then he had another meltdown with his colleagues the other morning. Uh, where he was, he's, he staved off going to break because he was upset that his female colleague didn't excoriate um, a congressman for mentioning the New York Post as a reliable source. He, he was upset that that had been referenced as a reliable news organization and staved off break because he, he needed to get the, out the fact that it's not in his view. Uh, and this is over the Hunter Biden reporting, of course, which his own news, news network later confirmed. So he's, it, this is a pattern of him diminishing. I'm telling you, look into it. If any reporter worth their salt would actually do some digging, call CNN, do it. Call their HR right now. Find out whether he's got a history of harassing his female colleagues. I dare any reporter out there to do it. All right. I'll do it myself. I'll do it today after the show and I'll get back to you on what they say. Um, But this is a pattern with this guy. He does not respect women. He does not see women as equals. He views women who are over the age of 40 as past their due date. And this is who they have covering Nikki Haley. How's that going to go? Right. How 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 are we supposed to look at him as viewers and take anything he has to say about female politicians, never mind Republicans, seriously. Look, you did the tough thing during COVID. You paid your people and pulled your business through the pandemic. And now doing the tough thing could qualify you for up to $26,000 per employee at covidtaxrelief.org. Government funds are available right now to reward companies with two or more employees who stayed open during COVID. This is not a loan and you don't have to pay it back. The program's complicated, but no one knows more about it than the CPAs and tax experts at covidtaxrelief.org. 
You pay nothing up front, they do all the work, and then they share a percentage of the cash they get you. Businesses of all types, including nonprofits and churches, can qualify, including those who took PPP loans, even if you had increases in sales. You did the tough thing for your employees during COVID. Let covidtaxrelief.org help you. In particular, help you get up to $26,000 per employee. Visit covidtaxrelief.org, covidtaxrelief.org, covidtaxrelief.org. Hey, thanks so much for watching. If you like what you just saw, hit the subscribe button for more clips and full episodes.